Hey you guys, it's Monica and welcome back. So today I'm going to be making a rainbow shatter water ball, water ball. <laughs> we already starting off rough, back from break. Uh, water bottle. Uh, so yeah, I know I've been going for a minute, but now I'm back with the jump off, uh, you know, vacation. And so uh, I came out with these, what I call the South Beach Shatters collection, which is just a bright, fun collection of what are called shatter glitter. These ones are cut a little larger than uh, the couple of shatters that I had that you know, which is Snow Mass and Denver. Um, so yeah, y'all wanted to see how to use them. So I'm going to make a water bottle for myself because I said I wasn't making no more cups for myself in 2021, but it is 2022 and you know, trying to be healthy. And I feel like when I have personalized things, it's always a motivator. So I'm like, hmm, new water bottle, let's do it. And so I got these neon acrylic paints. These are matte acrylic paints. I just picked them up from Michael's in the paint section. They're like 69 cents a piece. And of course, oh y'all, did y'all see that Michael's is coming back out with a 40% off coupon? If you're not checking your Michael's emails, check them emails. They didn't send one of them for like four weeks in a row. They've sent them, you know, the 40% off one item. And you know, I take my husband in there with me and I do two separate transactions because I ain't got no shame and I need my 40% off multiple things. So they they need us back y'all they need us back so be checking your email so yeah i decided to do just like a slight swirl not like like a super around the cup swirl but you know more like diagonal lines almost you know just a little slight angle to them nothing big nothing major um so yeah that's what i'm doing but yeah y'all i've missed y'all i've been gone and i released a video when i was actually on vacation and i made it a point to not take my computer or anything just kind of really just enjoy our time in new orleans enjoy mardi gras my mom came down my grandma came down so we had a really good time ate so much left chubby came back chubbier y'all know how that go and it's crazy <laughs> I remember like the second day there, y'all, I walked like 20,000 steps. I said, oh my goodness, I ain't walked this far since I lived here. Like, I really live a sedentary life in Colorado. It's low-key wild because we walked in New Orleans like we would always walk. We would walk everywhere. Like, we would walk to the grocery. We live downtown. We could walk to the grocery store. So it's just kind of wild how, depending on where you live, how your life, like, changes. Oh, yeah, so this is how the water bottle looks. I did two layers, about 30 minutes apart. It's acrylic paint. Y'all know that stuff dry quick. So next, I'm going to use... Mod Podge to apply these shatters. Um, and I'll put the name of each shatter on the bottom of the screen so you know which one I'm using. But yeah, these are super pretty. So the good thing about these shatters is that they're translucent. So depending on the background that you put them in can really like change the effect that you get. So I decided for this water bottle to just use the color that closest matched the actual color of the shatter. But like if you put these on black, or white, they're gonna look completely different, which I love so much. And you can see I got my Mardi Gras nails done. I don't know if I had them in the last couple of videos, but yeah, I got my nails done here before I even went there. My nail lady was like, what color scheme do you want? And I'm like, I need purple, green, and gold. Like they have meanings, but just know that I'm going to Mardi Gras and I need my nails to match because I get Mardi Gras nails every year. So yeah, so now I'm just doing that and I'm doing two sections at a time because I didn't want, you know, these shattered, they're so lightweight. I actually sell these by volume. You get four ounces by volume as opposed to weight because they are so lightweight um, and they take up a lot of space with just a little bit. And so I didn't want these like floating and like landing where I didn't want them to land. So I was doing one or two colors at a time when I did these. That's why you can see like that purple doesn't have Mod Podge on it because I'm trying to keep them contained and you know they're so light they can you see how they're like sticking where the purple is imagine if there was glue there how much more would have stuck so just fyi that was my logic behind how i did the mod podging of it all this so these are so pretty like i'm in love i want these in so many more colors so super cute so when you're done with that wait a couple of minutes and then i got this parchment paper from the dollar 25 tree and i'm just gonna press these down so the thing with the shatters is they have sharp edges right and so did y'all know y'all actually shouldn't be using sugar scrubs? See, I'm about to give y'all an SD tip. Don't use sugar scrubs. Sugar is actually like the sharp, one of the sharpest crystals you can use. It's actually going to do more damage to your face than, than anything. So if you can get a salt scrub, that's even better. So anyways, and so, um, yeah, so what I'm doing is taking this parchment paper and laying down these edges as flat as possible. Take your time and do this because this is going to be big when it comes to epoxy. Um, the less layers of epoxy, like three layers is the most I'm going to do on a cup period like i'm not i'm not doing more than that like i don't got that kind of time i don't got that kind of patience i'd rather strip the cup start again and see where it went wrong for me so just use parchment paper and lay that down all nice and flat so it should be pretty flat um you might have some pieces that stand up you can honestly just trim those off with scissors like the little eyebrow scissors that i've been told y'all y'all need to buy so yeah so after i let that dry i'm gonna come in with the quick coat 
So, picked up a new bottle from Amazon. I keep telling y'all, go to Amazon to get y'all stuff from Counterculture DIY because you save on shipping, which makes the product cheaper. But y'all didn't hear that from me. I'll leave a link below. Um, so, yeah. And so, I'm just using doing quick coat by color. Um, so, I will say this because, you know, full disclosure, the, the shatters are really pretty. But that deep one, which is Ocean Drive, the one that's on the purple background, it bleeds um, a little bit. And so, I'm doing them, the colors individually. Um, so yeah, that one, I don't know what type of, like how the factory did the finish. You can see I'm wiping it off down in the bottom right corner. I'm wiping it off on my paper. You can see like that blue shriek that it's leaving. So it does bleed a little bit. So just something to be aware of. Maybe if you're more of a beginner, I probably won't use this if you don't know how to deal with it. But again, it's really not that big of a deal. This only happens when you either like mix it like, that's why these aren't, unfortunately these aren't good for what them things called snow glows because it will turn the water kind of blue but if you want the water to turn kind of blue then boom it works out you don't have to worry about color in the water but if not i would just stick to like doing like uh mod podge method epoxy method like glitter in a water bottle so full disclosure i'm not out here trying to play y'all i'm gonna give y'all the real straight up straight down so that's how it goes and so i am using the counterculture diy medium viscosity resin to epoxy this water bottle Ooh, I feel like I, I had to stop talking. I've been talking so fast. I've been trying to make these videos shorter. I've been trying to keep y'all's attention. I've been trying to give y'all the good, good and the quick, quick um, to not waste y'all's time because I know we're all busy people. We're all busy. We have lives and families and husbands and animals and activities we love to do. Oh, y'all, I'm going to learn how to golf. So my husband actually knows how to golf. He's been golfing literally the whole time I've known him. Um, he has his own golf clubs and everything. But, oh, really quickly, after the first layer, I did sand. And so I do sand with, I use a very uh, coarse grit paper. So this is the 100 grit paper. And then when I get done with the 100 grit to kind of smooth out some of those really deep scratches that I make, I go back in with a 400 grit. So just FYI, that is how I sand. And I will show you guys the brand that I use. And I just picked this. This is Gator brand. I just pick it up at Lowe's. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'm going to learn how to golf this year finally so I can bother my husband out on the golf course. He gets no free time without me because y'all know that's how married life works. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to take golf lessons. What are you guys' plans for the summer? Are you going to put your kids in any kind of sports or anything like that? My nephew, he's five, so he's finally going to start taking t-ball. We're very excited. He does literally every other thing now, so t-ball is just something else. My sister has him in something literally every night. So we'll see which one sticks. So maybe they'll all stick and he'll be... A master of all we'll see but he's the cutest little kid in the world and he's the greatest little human that i know so yeah anyway so now i'm just gonna epoxy it and then i did put some vinyl on there because like i said i made this for me and i did one more layer of epoxy and this is what we're working with and this is just in natural sunlight like look at that glitter look at that gleam they're so pretty i love these shatters so much i'm so happy i got these a part of the collection now give y'all some up close i had like a little piece of glitter that got stuck in there but that's fine but yeah, super pretty. They're not as hard to work with as they may look. You know, the main thing is make sure you're laying your shatters down after you either glue them on or epoxy them on because that is going to lessen the layers you want to do. Like I said, we're not we're not doing more than three layers of epoxy girls. So and that's how the bottom looks in case you were wondering. I did do the bottom. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them below. Follow me on Instagram at period6designs. Follow me on TikTok at period6glitter. Thumbs up the video. Leave a comment. Let me know how your day is going. What are you doing for the summer? And subscribe to the channel. And I think that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.